All right, guys, welcome back. I'm Travis. Today, we're going to be taking a look at how to fix the screen on a MacBook. Before we get into that, though, I want to say that I'm going to stop posting videos about games and focus on electronic repair and tech in general. I did order a lot of stuff. Uh, thanks, Lily. <laughs> thanks. I did order a lot of unusual type of things, so I'm going to make some fun videos for the channel as well, so make sure you don't miss it, hit the subscribe button down below, and let's go ahead and see what we can do about this. Alright guys, before we get started, a couple things you want to look at. Now before you order the actual replacement screen, you want to look at the model number here. This is A1466, with the screen being the same all the way from 2012, I believe, all the way through 2017. Another thing, you are going to need some special tools. This kit is sold together. I'll leave a link in the description down below for that. All right, the first thing we're going to need is a pentalobe screwdriver, and we're going to open the bottom up. All right, guys, one thing I recommend is keeping some kind of small container uh, close by to put all of your screws and small parts in. Now we're going to start off with the 1.2 millimeter uh, pentalobe screwdriver and these two top screws up here are going to be a different size. The other ones will all be the same. All right, now once all that's done, to remove the back, just lift from the back side of it, and that bottom plate pops right off. Set that to the side, and we have access to the inside of the MacBook. All right, guys, once it's opened up, all right, guys, once everything's opened up, what we want to do before we do any actual work is to unplug the battery. There's a little tab right here. You can simply pull on it until that connector comes out. Okay, now in order to be able to remove the screen and replace that, we're going to also have to remove the I.O. board and the fan here. Uh, there's a ribbon cable that connects the I.O. board to the main logic board. In order to do that, you can just lift up on the ends here and it simply pops right off okay now next is the fan I believe there are four screws located here 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 and here uh, this is a T5 this is different from the screws and the driver that we used for the ones on the back and you're also going to want to keep track of uh, the position of these screws because they are different sizes or different lengths And just be careful with the uh, connector there. You're going to have to slide it out and set your fan to the side. All right, guys. Now there's three cables that we're going to have to remove in order to take the I.O. board out. So let's go ahead and disconnect those. There's one there and then right next to it, you pull this back. There we are. Just run these cords all the way out. I'm going to go ahead and 
leave that there until we take the screw out of the IO board. There's also one cable here on top of the IO board. Pull out. Very small. There we are. Perfect. And then there's only one screw right in the middle of the board that needs to be removed. All right. And Apple likes to switch up the sizes of the screws on everything because they don't like people working on their own computer. All right. That to the side. Now we can just completely remove the board here. And we can actually set this to the side. We don't have to remove that ribbon, just let it sit over here to the side. All right, guys, now we want to completely unroute these cables that we disconnected. Uh, they're going to come over here to the airboard. They just pop right off here. You can see better there. The two cables. And then pull them back. And just... Bring them all the way back to the other side. All right. And then there's going to be three screws holding the display in on each side. Uh, before we actually do that, though, you're going to see uh, this cable needs to be disconnected. This little black switch here, what you're going to do is lift it up. Pull it over to the other side, and that'll just allow the cable to come off. And all right, guys, the toolkit that I purchased specifically for this video did not actually have a T8. Apple's really good at uh, making sure that you have a wide variety of uncommon uh, tools if you want to work on any of your Apple products yourself. But I have one in my toolkit, and I'll make sure that the link in the description uh, has the proper one. All right, there's three on each side. You just take those out. All right, and at this point, we can simply stand up. Be careful with that card. But stand it up and open the screen. It should pop right out. And there we are. We have removed the screen. And set this to the side. It's useless at this point. All right, guys, now you want to take your new display and turn this around facing you. And you want to line up, you don't want to line up the hinges here. And we're going to stand it up, basically. Slide everything in. Now, I will go ahead and tell you there's this little piece right here and this is going to go underneath underneath the hinged area all right just like it was when you when you got it out just make sure that that's the right way all right all right and once everything's in place I know you can't see right here but I'm basically just lining up the hinges once it's all in place you're gonna do this with the hinges closed in the closed position. It's going to make your life a lot easier. 
putting this back together. All right. There we go. Now that we can see, like I said, this we're going to make sure is underneath the hinge. Just line it up. Close the hinge on the other side. And the first thing we're going to do is just replace those screws for the hinges. So and there's three on each side, you never want to have leftover parts. Alright, this side here is a little bit harder because you have to make sure that, that bottom piece is lined up. Just make sure it's, it's right, don't force it. All right, once you have the hinges all screwed down nice and tight, you're just gonna go back through and do everything in reverse. Let's attach all the wires. This first one on this side, you are going to slide in. Make sure it's all the way in first, and then flip that back over and lock it. All right, when we run these cables, remember, they do everything the way they do it at the factory for a purpose. You're going to want to tuck these cables back in the way that they were previously before you reattach them. All right, and the longer cable will go to the further side, the J1 side. They're very small, they're kind of like buttons. Just kind of line it up and push it down, it should click in. There we are. And when I say the uh, J O J one, you'll see it there. Very small writing next to the connectors. All right. At this point, you can attach the I.O. board. Connectors are very small, but you have to make sure that they're in the proper way. Touch this wire back here. Again, try to make sure the wires all ran properly. Don't want them hanging out or getting pinched by the fan. The screw back in the I.O. board. There's only one. Put our fan back. Easier to slide that ribbon in beforehand, of course. All right. Remember, these are different length screws so should have uh, kept track of where they were to go make sure you're not going to pinch any of the wires we'll get them back in place afterwards 
And if your ribbon happens to slide around at all like mine did, you can uh, always just make sure that that's attached before you close it back up, of course. All right, guys, whatever you do, definitely do not forget to connect the ribbon here from your I.O. board like I definitely almost did. Just line it up and it clicks right back in there. Then we're good to go. All right, guys, in the very last part, attach that battery back before we put the bottom case back on. Last but definitely not least. There we are, everything's installed. Let's get that back plate back on here. Last thing that you want to do is have to open this thing back up. So of course, make sure all of your connections are secure. Before moving forward on the next step. All right, guys, everything looks good. Let's throw the cover back on. All right, guys, let's get this plate back on here. All right, guys, before you put the screws in, I do want to make sure um, I just tell you there's a possibility with running the wires. Remember, I told you everything's ran the way it is for a reason. Um, the opening on the inside of the bottom cover uh, will crush the wire and it will not uh, go flush here but you can take a tool like this one and look into the grates in between the hinge here and make sure you push that wire back if you're having trouble getting it to stay just make sure you don't screw this thing down and crush that wire the two longer screws here All right, once everything's in, just turn it over, turn it on, make sure everything's working properly. All right, guys, when we're finished, you can see our screen is completely repaired. Once again, guys, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. Hope this helps some of you out, and I'll see you in the next video.